Hi everyone, this is Ants. This video is part two called Red Flags with regards to the video series I'm creating called Why You Should Not Use LibGDX for 3D Games. Uh, this video is more on uh, non-technical, so it's more on the soft reasons why you should not uh, use LibGDX for 3D games. But before uh, we start it, I want to make sure that if you haven't seen part one, where I actually go through um, the supported pl platforms of LibGDX and where it ranks on the tier system, that I basically, the whole point of this video series is that all 3D development in LibGDX is considered at best D tier. However, all the other 2D elements in Android development is actually uh, quite good. Um, so take a look at part one if you have not seen that. So let's get started with the red flags. So before I actually started um, game development, I actually did uh, analysis uh, on which kind of um, game engine or game uh, platform or game framework I should use to start my journey of game development. And I remember going to Reddit and a bunch of other things which I'm going to go through. Uh, and there were some red flags there, but I actually did not, unfortunately, take them to, to heart. And I, I chose just a few here, um, you know, that you're either relatively um, new or during the time like two or three years ago when um, I was looking for a framework, right? So, I mean, you know, they basically said, listen, uh, you know, use JMonkey Engine for 3D. Uh, you know, people three years ago were saying the number of people who use LibGDX for 3D is relatively slow, small, and why are there so few 3D games? But I didn't take this to heart. And the reason why is, the primary reason why I chose Lib LibGDX is because I was new to game development, uh, but I knew Java, I said, oh, this is a perfect fit. The other reason why I chose LibGDX is, is was cross-platform. I wanted Android, Android and web development. But in a way, uh, those were extremely poor uh, decisions to make just based on I know Java, right? So, um, but anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that was a red flag, but I did not heed that warning. So what I did next, um, and this is recent amounts. It was actually quite worse when I actually, I think there was only 17 games, but I'm going to zoom this in right, you know, right there. So... Basically, this is on itch.io, right? On itch.io, uh, um, games made with libgdx tagged with 3D, there's only 37 of them on itch.io. And if you take a look at this, I, I, I clicked on most recent, and because that's important too, because you know if previous games 10 years ago were made with uh, libgdx, that person's no longer making it. But there's only 37 of them. And keep in mind that if you remove all of my 3D games and Monstrous's 3D games and James T. Khan's 3D games, you're down to like 25. Like if you remove three people from um, their games from the list of games made with uh, 3D games made with LibGDX, you'll be down to 25 examples of 3D games uh, made with LibGDX. Okay. Now, how does that compare with other open source um, uh, game engines that uh, you can do 3D? So this is Godot, and there's 2,500 um, um, games that are tagged 3D uh, made with Godot, right? So as you can see, it's the same. So it's basically uh, 100 times more, 100 times more. And um, if you look at Unity, right, there it's closer to 20, like it, that's, you know, it's like 800 times more, but it's closer to a thousand times more. Now, Unity is not uh, open source, so it's not really a fair comparison. But either way, the takeaway here, and by the way, I, I remember doing this, and I remember even chatting on Discord with someone uh, and then saying, why are there so few? And I didn't, I didn't take, it's like I was just blinded by, oh, it's Java, or I'm so excited. But basically, there's very few examples, and the the amount, you know, the majority of the examples are actually three people. Uh, so, anyways, um, 
again, red flag. And you could do your own research on this, on that. I mean, yeah. Uh, you can't compare it with Godot, let's say. It's 100 to 1. Like, it's, it's really that bad. All right. Um, the other one, Discord. So there's two messages I want you to take away from here, right? These are facts, right? So uh, if you know the Discord server on libgdx, if you have a blue uh, name, that means you're a contributor, okay? So one contributor here basically uh, says, I honestly don't care about 3D in libgdx. This is a contributor. Another contributor, Tomsky, who's very, very knowledgeable in 3D, right? But the core libgdx 3D uh, is extremely smart. Uh, I myself don't use it, and when he, what he means by it is um, gdx.gltf, which is a third-party library created by MGSX that everybody uses and you need to use because literally everybody says in the Discord servers, use gdx.gltf because you need to import, uh, you know, using uh, gltf or glb files from Blender and all that kind. Of, they they tell us to use it, but then they're basically saying I don't use it. That is big red flags when both either a contributor says, I don't care about the uh, 3D in LibGX, or the other one says, I don't use the tool that we're telling everybody to use. Big red flags. Um, the other message I want to convey is basically, you, you know, when it comes to 3D, it's crickets, like silence. Like there's, there's no, there's, the help is very scarce and the actual engagement is very low which adds to the more reinforcement of the itch page that I just said that literally nobody is using 3D for libgdx. So basically I'm frustrated to hear that, uh, you know, every time I have a question, I get crickets when I ever, you know, have a question of GDX, GLTF. Uh, this example over here, right? Basically I'm proving that, you know, two weeks could go by where you don't actually see anything. I mean, look, uh, July 8th to July 20. This is just recent stuff, right? So it's like 12 days have gone by and just one post after 12 days. Um, yeah, it's just a ghost town, right? And um, let's move forward on another big red flag. So let's go to GitHub and uh, an issue and a PR that took... Uh, I think it was nine months, but we'll get the exact date. So basically, this, 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 uh, I know this um, issue really well because you can't do any post processing effect in 3D without this being implemented multi center sample frame buffers. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, you know, it was uh, created on July 12, 2023. Um, uh, there was some discussion and. Um, by the time July, um, uh, one sec. Okay. Um, by July 31st, there was a bunch of back and forth and James T. Kahn basically did some tests and it all worked for him. He had submitted two other concerns or observations and he wanted a, you know some review. Uh, some people review and then it went into nothing happened. Uh, other people have said, hey, any updates? I basically say I'm checking in every week for the status of this update. Now, during this time, there was a game jam. And basically, if you if this fix wasn't around, you would get major jaggies in, um, in 3D and any post-processing effect if you're using frame buffers. So I had to implement an FXAA anti-aliasing uh, shader to uh, smooth out the jaggies, but it blurs everything. But it was actually, in a way it was good because I learned you know, to create an uh, anti-aliasing uh, shader. Um, and, um, and I had to reinvent the wheel FXAA basically. But anyways, um, but um, I then on October, so look, from August to October, I go, listen, hey, is there anything the community can do to help uh, the LibGDX contributors to reduce the cycle time for PRs to get merged? Because people are waiting. And eventually everything got, um, the PR went through in a, what was the date? March 3rd. March 3rd, 2024 from July um, 12th. 2023. So it was about nine months. 
Um, yeah. So this is just one example. I mean, it's just the, the cycle time of PRs. I mean, compare that to other um, game engines and it's, it's, it's bad. Um, so you might be saying, oh, you know, um, you're doing a lot of complaining. You know, what are you doing to help out? So basically um, what I've noticed is there is no kind of roadmap or game plan to make 3D uh, better for LibGDX. So I basically said, hey, guys, you know what? Let's let's just put like top 10 things that we need to kind of fix uh, and let's have a roadmap because there's no roadmap. Everybody starts doing their own thing and all that kind of stuff. So I tried this. Um, uh, three, four months ago. Uh, and, you know, initially I got some traction. Initially I did some stuff and um, it just went silent. So the, in a way they don't care. Either they're checked out, they don't care, they're using another engine and all that. But I, I tried my best. I tried to make the, uh, the place a better place. And, um, you know, and there's, you know, I, I did all this effort to put this, this stuff all together and uh, put discussions in and, just crickets, ghost town, right? So yeah, um, yeah. So um, I want to keep the the videos kind of um, short. So uh, I'm gonna end uh, with that. And um, yeah, this is uh, hopefully um, some examples of red flags um, that if you see them. Um, I wish I did. I wish I didn't waste uh, two years. Actually, more is closer to three years. But uh, this is the conclusion of the soft, i.e. Um, the next videos are going to be more technical and get that more of a deep dive in terms of examples and data and facts about why you um, should not use LibGDX for 3D games. I structured it this, this way because a lot of people are, uh, are interested in these games of, you know, they, they're contemplating, you know, doing some 3D uh, game development. And a lot of them might come in there and they won't know what collisions are, physics engines, navigation meshes, uh, shaders, uh, animation bones and 3D models and all the different types of things and, and physics and, and ray casting and all this other stuff. And if I started off with all the technical stuff, maybe I would have lost a lot of, lot of people. So this is the reason why I went uh, soft uh, skills, like basically soft uh, examples, non-technical examples. Anyways, so that concludes part two, red flags on why you should not use LibGDX for 3D games. Thanks and have a great day.